My name is Philip Beasley, and this work is called Hylozoic Soil. It's an attempt to think about the architecture of the future. Could an architecture come alive? Could an architecture breathe and even know and care? This is a collaborative work, which is combining mechatronics, that is mechanical engineering and computation and artificial life, a chemistry of making materials and creating a kind of metabolism that can be a future diffuse environment. It's made of lightweight meshworks that can flex. It's made of small microprocessors that speak to each other, making a swarm and sensing in actuators using shape memory alloy, which can breathe and flex, not like the strong motors and gears of an expanded power, but rather a subtle shape memory alloy, a material which flexes just like the proteins in our own muscles. This work is trying to make a public space that is a space for gathering. And certainly this isn't a proud kind of public. I don't mean a huge nation. But instead, we're trying to make the kind of public gathering that might come before cities, before nations have been founded, where small clusters of people gather together, like in a forest, and exchange and start to connect and make, perhaps, a public experience. We use digital fabrication and many, many microprocessors and open source technologies in order to put these things together. One of the interesting things about this work is that it contains protocells, prototype cells, made of very simple chemistries that combine into small vesicles and then start to generate skins and start to move and work in ways that might be very similar to a new organism. And these are housed together with multiple chains of breathing pores that send out plumes of air through this entire space, passing signals from part to part to part. It knows that you're here and it responds to you.